Hi, Dean Pepper and C2 Solutions here. We're focused on helping businesses automate, systemize, and innovate their way to work using cloud solutions. Today I want to talk about something uh, that occurs for businesses um, when they're migrating their email and how to handle it. It's a common question that comes up is like, how do I manage the cutover from my old email address to my new email address? Okay, and there's three things you need to think about when you do this. Now I'll give you the scenario. Typically you might have be using a personal email address like a Gmail or a Hotmail and you want to cut over to using a proper business email address like Dean at and your business name, okay? Um, with your domain name on the end. <clears throat> or it also occurs if you rebrand and you're changing from one business name to a new business name. How do you handle that cutover to make sure one, you get all your emails, but two, you also communicate to all the clients the change in email address. So here's the three things you need to think about. One is you need to set up on the old email address an autoresponder. So if anyone emails that old email box, they'll get an email back saying, hey, we've updated our email address, please contact us on this new email address. So the people using your old email address will get a response, they'll be informed that there's an update. The second thing you need to do is put a forwarder on the old email address through to the new inbox. So any emails hitting that old email address will automatically be forwarded onto the new email box. And the reason this is important is so that you don't have to keep checking two accounts. You can just start working and living in the new account and know that all your emails are coming through. The third thing you need to do is on your new email account, you normally have a signature at the bottom of new emails. Put in some red text that says something like, note, uh, please note we have updated our, we have now have a new email address and put the new email address. So when you're sending out emails, it starts to breed a new culture and, and a knowledge in your clients that you have a new email address. Now, once you've got that set up, that'll run nicely. Clients will start to become aware that you've changed your email address and you need to probably keep the old account running for about six to 12 months. We've done this for a lot of clients over many years and found it works really well. If you don't overlap them, if you overlap them for too short a period, um, you'll still find people email you six months later or something on the old email address and it goes nowhere and they're not sure how to get hold of you. So a good six to 12 months is a, is a period to leave the old account running. So if you're migrating also from an old host with a different type of email, don't think about cutting them off straight away. You want to keep that old email in place for about another year to ensure you're capturing all the emails through into your new email account. So that's the things you need to think about. So I'll just repeat them. One, set up an autoresponder on the old email account informing people of your new email address. Two, forward the old email address through to your new email address, and any emails coming into that through to the new email address. And three, set up a note in the signature of your new email account informing people of the new email address, and that'll make sure it's a very smooth transition um, across your business. Now, if you have lots of people in your organization and, and you're migrating all of them, you need to do this for all the accounts, and that'll ensure everyone is migrated over and um, they're getting, uh, all the clients are getting properly informed. So I hope you found that helpful. If you have any other questions or tips you'd like solved in your business, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to help you. Take care.